we have heard a lot about President Bush's reasons for going to war, but why do you think so many of those legislators were convinced that it was the only option? Phil? Well, I think it's important to put yourself back in October 2002. This is less than a year after the Towers. Everybody wanted to bomb something. I mean, that's the way it looked to me. As f the fact is, we, we had millions of Americans out there trying to say, hey, wait a minute, hold it. But they, of course, were dismissed, totally marginalized. This president handed these talking points to these grown adult people in the House and the Senate, and they just read them. The smoking gun will become a mushroom cloud. The longer we wait, the more dangerous he becomes. Uh, you can feel the breathing. And the ex this politics of fear worked. Well, it worked. And by the way, this vote, Leonard, as you know, was taken three weeks before an election. Imagine. This was a political vote that sent this entire nation right into the sword. Now, there were some people who objected. Were they putting their political careers on the line? Uh, we we see Senator Byrd, uh, I think he, he didn't worry about whether he would lose an election. He was one of the rare <laughs> opponents in the right. Senate. But you have a number of people in the House who opposed it. Uh, and 133 members of the House. So that no. A lot of How many members of the Senate opposed it? 23. The immortal 23. Uh, one of them, only one of them, a Republican, Lincoln Chafee, who uh, has since... He was defeated. He was defeated, and then he has switched parties. He's now <laughs> supporting Barack Obama in the election he told me oh, really? just a couple of weeks back. Mm -hmm. He's got a book coming out, I believe. I thought that was one of the most stunning demonstrations of moral courage I'd ever seen. A, a Republican, all by himself, stood up to say no the every major metropolitan newspaper in this country supported this war. Imagine. And it's important to remember how much courage it took to say no. Well, were you surprised that Senator Byrd's objections didn't get more play in the media? You were on the air at the time, weren't you? I was for a very brief, unhappy uh, life at uh, MSNBC. Senator Byrd did everything he could to bring, you know, it, I plead with the American people, let your voice be heard. I mean, he was an oracle. The, the life of your son may depend upon it. The life of your daughter. To see this, and I had seen it live, and I, you know, I was stunned by, first of all, his oratory, his respect for the Constitution, how everybody was turning his uh, back to the Constitution. This was not a constitutional vote. Only Congress can declare war. Congress did not declare war in October 2002. They gave the president permission if he thought he had to. That way, they're covered if it goes wrong. 